Hello everyone, welcome back to What's Where here, Broadrunner Sorcerer's Stone. In the last time, we made a return to Hogwarts and explored the Forbidden Forest a little bit. And if I'm not mistaken, we still have a little bit of that left. And uh, that stupid turtle firing fire and whatever out of its ass. Incendio! Incendio. Very soon, actually, we're going to be having a cameo by Chronomancer because there's going to be a part coming up really soon where I think you have to play a chess game. You know, I absolutely suck at chess. I really, have, actually, I actually really have no idea how to play the game. Truthfully, so I'm going to bring him over as a cameo, and he's going to help me help me beat that part of it. So I figured that'd be fun for everybody involved. Nintendo. And yeah, we can move on with the episode. So I've been struggling along for a little time, figuring out how to play a game I've never played. Nintendo. So I think that's like one or two episodes. It might be next episode. It might be the one after that. Just depending on how the pace, how the pace we go is. I see you found the Unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the Unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Oh, we still have more to go. Is this not, isn't that um, Harry Potter? Harry gets attacked by Voldemort or something? I don't know. I don't care about spoilers. By the way, you're playing the PlayStation version of the game. You shouldn't be worried about spoilers if you ask me. Really, go go watch the movies or read the books. They're well worth it. Incendio! So I'm assuming that's the way the game wants me to go. So the question is, where is here then? Where does this go? Or do I have that backwards? I guess I have that backwards. Okay, let's actually go explore this real quick. No, this probably is. This is probably like a mini game, for like the witches and wizards card or something like that. Okay, you don't even need the other platform. I really do like the backgrounds for these, by the way, for the loading screens. Oh, I guess this is the right way. Oops. I meant to explore the whole thing, but I don't know. Like I said, probably only a little mini game area. was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained the unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. You must not be named and you name him anyway. Freaking narr narrator's evil. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Vold, I mean, he must not be named, and you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. Oh, I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Really? An umbrella? Oh. Uh, yeah, look, my intro. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. The only thing is you can actually just mash buttons. That's kind of amusing. Sounds very awkward and off tune, but I mean, hey. A 
out like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. I mean, at least they change up the minigame a little bit. Still the same I've basic idea. I've been doing idea, some though. reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Why is it on, Caps? Supposedly, it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be snakes after it. There are even rumors that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I, Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. Yep. So, okay, let's see here. Uh, still a tad bit too early to call an episode, so I might just wait until we get to the upper four, because I think we're getting kind of close to the, or to the end of the episode mark, so, yeah. Musical Harry, maybe that's what I'll call this episode. The only downside of this whole thing is that I, I'd be, I don't know, be, because the game is kind of so linear, when it actually lets you just roam free like this and tells you to go find some place, it actually does mess with me a little bit. Like, for instance, is, uh, are we heading back out towards the, what's it called? Or is it actually... Or see, yeah, see, we're heading the wrong way. I mean, it is cool, though. It is kind of open-world-ish. And it's nice, because if you want to go collect the beans and stuff, I think you can... I no, Actually, I don't think you can go back to Green, green Gods or... Um, any, any other area like that. I don't think there's any way for you to travel back through there. Uh, I'm running around in circles. Where's the castle? See, this would benefit from a map. Where's Hagrid's hut? This take me into the forest, right? No, no, entrance hall. Okay, good. Rescued the cat, so that's not our thing. Hey, it's a potion for the life potion. I didn't even know there was one randomly out here. Don't need it though. I should really get to playing the PC version of this. Actually, I have that. And truthfully, I re you know, this is gonna sound weird. I do think this game is actually pretty good at being atmospheric. And actually, pretty good looking for a PlayStation game. Actually, I really do like this. So, honestly, for being a PS1 game, it really does a good job. So one thing I really have to praise the uh, developers on. They really, really did a good job on creating the, the castle and the atmosphere. Right, even though the graphics can look kind of weird sometimes. Um, you know, I guess it still did a great job of it. Great foyer, no. I think that me using though, if in some weird parallel universe thing, we actually managed to get the other games, past chamber secrets on the PlayStation 1, so we could get all these weird looking games and stuff, and, and PS1 style, like Prisoner of Azkaban, Death of the Hollows, etc. But that would probably only work as a fan project though, because Chamber of Secrets was done in like 2002, I think. Oh, Forbidden Corridor, isn't this actually, isn't this actually where we're supposed to go? I think they said third floor, but I thought this is where Fluffy was. Yep, here we are. Harry, I think someone's making a move to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry, I know you are brave. But promise me you'll be very careful. I meant to save a the game there. Meanwhile, the house point hourglasses are slowly filling up. 
Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. And Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Oh, come on. We all know the way it ends. No matter how far how far behind we are, we're Dumbledore's favorites. Of course, he's going to make, hey, good job. You beat Voldemort. Or you did this thing. Here you go. You went on about it. Ridiculous amount of points. Ah, yes, yeah, Fluffy. Only Hagrid would call this monster Fluffy. Of course. Harry, do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music? Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful, though. He looks ferocious. Okay. Uh, triangle. Or triangle. Ah! No, I said triangle. Come on. Oops. Okay. Almost dead, but I put the dog to sleep. Hopefully, that hole is down there for me. The thing I don't like about that, I, I guess you can move out of the way, but it seems kind of hard to do that and not get hit. It, it seems like the dog doesn't really telegraph its uh, attacks too well, it just attacks. So, kind of have to just wait it out, I guess. I don't know. Problem is too. I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. Try and figure out the sequence of tentacles and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. Problem is, Try not is to I get don't too have close to health. those tentacles. Yeah, look, I have no health now, so what am I supposed to do? Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, everyone, that's going to be the first episode, because I think I need to, I don't know, it might send me back to the last save point, I don't remember, but I'll pick up where, last, or where the next episode, where this one left off, so if you want to see more like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.